hey loves welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here you're most welcome my name is jenna tungo and on today's video i'm going to show you how i did this hairstyle using yarn hope you find this video helpful and if you do please subscribe like comment and share okay so i'll be using this brazil wool hair and i used two bundles of this hair to get my curls so here i am just uh, uh rolling this hair onto the my own to my door handle okay but uh, if you want like a specific measurement you can just use tape measure to get the exact uh, length that you want but since i don't have one i'll just have to use my door handle to you know kind of get the measurements okay so once i'm done guys i just um cut the hair into two I'm going to cut it half exactly as you can see in the video and now that uh, you are here already please consider subscribing if you haven't yet subscribed uh, don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below guys and i will truly appreciate your support and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you may, you may be notified whenever i upload a new video okay and again guys if you have any questions or concern please leave them in the comment section down below so guys after i am done i'll just start um taking the pieces that i'm going to curl i literally didn't count how many a strand of this hair i used to you know get the curls so i'm going to twist and just turn twist and turn until i'm done with the you know the piece that i'm using so that's the whole point guys you twist and turn twist and turn Okay, so because my flexi rods are not enough, I had to maximize the ones that I have. Only had eight of these uh, flexi rods. So what I did, I just took another piece and you know roll it, and <laughs> because there's no way I'm going to work twice. Okay, so I only used eight um, flexi rods to you know get to curl my hair. So I'm going to use each uh, two pieces of. Uh, this wool per rod okay so if you have enough then you don't have to like uh, use like a uh, two pieces per each roll so because i don't have enough and i don't want to work twice so i'm going to you know kind of roll two pieces in these uh, flexi rods okay so yeah you can maximize the ones that you have if so once i'm done with the uh, rolling this uh wool i'll just go ahead and i use my elastic band to just secure it at the very end because again you don't i don't want it to like unravel and you know start working again because i'm not in for that okay so make sure you secure your uh your wool at the end with some elastic band or anything that uh will make it not to unravel or anything of sort so yeah so please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching hair tutorials because this channel is all about hair and anything to do with hair so if it's something that uh, you love uh, watching then consider subscribing and again don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and you can also share this video to your friends to your family anyone you wish to you know share this video to and i will appreciate all your support here and yeah <laughs> okay so after i'm done guys i'll just go ahead and dip this uh, hair in uh, hot water okay and i'm going to leave them for about uh, three to four minutes
okay guys so this is three days later my wool is nice and dry so make sure before you of course install this here make sure it is nice and completely dry okay that's the only way you'll get your curl so don't unravel it before it is dry you so i'll just use my fingers to you know detangle um my hair okay so i'm just running my fingers through this hair and making sure it is nice and detangled and then after i'm done guys i'll just split it into my desired um pieces that uh of course i'm going to crochet and i'm in love with these curls guys so this is my braiding pattern like i did some basic simple cornrows going all the way to the very back okay so i did uh part my hair from ear to ear and then i just went ahead and did this basic simple cornrows going all the way to the very back so i'm going to explain to you exactly what i'm doing okay so i'll go ahead and take my crochet needle and then i'm going to pass it through my cornrow open my crochet hook attach my crochet hair close the hook and then i'm going to take one strand of this hair and i'm going to secure it twice okay so i'm going to show you again taking my crochet needle pass it through my cornrow take my crochet hair attach it on the hook close the hook then go ahead and pull this um hair out and then i'm going to take one strand put it into the hole and i'm going to make two knots just to ensure that uh, my hair is like a nice and secured okay and i love the fact that this style is very easy to achieve and also it's super affordable because one bundle of um, this uh, brazilian wool retails for between 100 to 150 kenya shillings it depends with uh, where you will get yours but that's how much it's going to cost you my goodness less than 300 bob and you look all snatched and all that so guys this is how the back section of my hair is looking like so let's go ahead and work on the front section of our hair so guys before that this is how i go to straighten my brazilian wool again because i'm not using braid extension i'll be using the same brazilian a wool to like i do my cornrows at the front section so i'm using my wide tooth comb to you know like a comb it until i get it smooth so guys at this point i will allow you all to watch and see exactly what i'm doing because i feel like if i'm going to explain to you i'm going to like uh mess everything up and i just want you all to just watch and see and just you know follow along and hope you're going to learn and i'll get back to you once i'm done with the braiding so continue watching i will see you soon <laughs>
so guys once i'm done i'll just go ahead and dip the ends of this uh hair in hot water okay just to get them straight and also to take care of all the flyaways and then i'm going to show you how i got to install my beads so i'll be using two beads per piece so i'm just using my crochet uh, hook and i'm going to hook my beads and secure it just like as you can see in the video and guys before i forget to tell you this please don't forget to oil your scalp i didn't show you how i did that but don't forget to oil your scalp anytime you do a protective hairstyle okay and yeah guys that will be all for today's video thank you all so much for watching thank you for keeping me company i will see you in my next video so bye for now and take care